hey, beginners, I have a great way to show how to have fun and to show progress. And how all has to do with simple chords, a little spicy chords, and simple rhythm and the blues coming up. Hey everyone, Paul here, PZ Guitar, your virtual practice partner. And I want to talk to beginners, especially adult beginners. You know, if you're an adult beginner and you picked up one of these things and you want to learn how to play and so on, uh, the best way to justify your time is to show progress and to have fun. And so, uh, what's, the, what's the best way to have fun? Well, the, believe it or not, one of the best ways to have fun is to play the blues. Sounds counterintuitive, but the blues is a great format, without a doubt. And how to have fun? Well, to have fun is if you keep things simple, that's the key. And so I'm going to show you how. So uh, step number one about having fun and keeping things simple is the number one thing I can say, it's not about the strum pattern. So strumming is something that's, that seems to be attainable because strumming up and down with, you know, with a pick in your hand is a kind of like, like writing. You know, they're, they're similar activities. So you tend to gravitate that because that seems to be very attainable. But then when you start, you know, doing uh, strumming in a conventional way, you realize it's not as easy as it sounds. Well, that's one of the reasons why you're a beginner is because you, you don't have that fretboard experience just yet. You don't have that strumming experience. You don't have that music and that timing experience yet. So the way to get, the way to get through that is not through shortcuts. I don't believe in shortcuts. You know, when I was a uh, technologist, one of the longest roads I ever had in technology started off as a shortcut, you know, but simplification is the key here. So I'm going to give you a couple of ways to simplify things. We're going to simplify with simple chords. We're going to move those simple chord shapes around the fretboard and it's going to be great. And in the, the, the number one thing, it's not about the strum pattern. It's not about up, down, up, down, up. It's not about doing complicated things. It's much better to keep a simple, repeating rhythm, and you're putting out sonic, no, you're putting out sonic music, you're putting out music on a consistent basis. It's much better to keep a simple rhythm than it is to try and do a complicated, you know, strumming pattern that you now, oh, I have to change chords, and now well, what about my strumming? I lost my strumming. It gets, strum patterns can be frustrating. So let's keep things simple. Let's do a very ultra simple uh, rhythm pattern. We'll do with simple chords, an E7, an A7, and a B7. I even have a workaround for the B7, so don't worry about that. And we'll do this in the, within the blues context. And that is where it becomes fun and, and, and musical. Please download, I have a, um, whoop, as I hit the microphone, I have uh, documentation about today's lesson, including all the different chord patterns and so on, and also about the, uh, the blues uh, uh, genre, as, as well as you know the, uh, how to make up a blues pattern, standard 12-bar blues. I have a generic simplified blues pattern plus other, uh, other suggestions as well. But we're going to keep things simple because simplification is fun. So let's do a demonstration first, and then we'll go over what we're doing here, okay? So. Was our blues that's our spicy blues in E simplified that that's something that you can master it makes music and have fun so what did I just do so the first thing it bars one through four is in the E7 family so E7 family here's our E7 it's on the screen 
Then I move up one fret with my index finger and I now use my ring finger. And then I go up two frets and go back to the original kind of chord shape with us uh, the E7. And then I go up two more frets. Then I go back down, I, I go back towards the nut. And then I hit this twice. Repeat that. And now we go to the four chord, the A7 family. Go back to the one chord, the E7 family. Now it comes uh, bars nine and 10 where we do the five chord and the four chord. And I highly suggest that whatever rhythm pattern you were using for the first eight bars, you do something slightly different for these two chords. It will add some sonic interest and it will help define the, you know, kind of like the, turn, the beginning of the turnaround here. So we just did this. Now I already have an anchor finger my middle finger is already there, so I'm just going to put my, I'm going to move my, uh, my, my index finger and form the B7 chord. That's a, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Anything that you want to do, just make it a little different than what you were doing before. And now do this, that, that whatever rhythm pattern you just did, do that for the four chord. And then go back to your original pattern and finish off the sentence. So that was the blues. That, that's the spicy blues. And it's simple and it's effective and it, you can have fun. And as you get better and better at that, you can increase that, that rhythm pattern ever so slightly. And just, just make sure that bars 9 and 10 are a little different than all, all the rest. And that will just complete the sentence and complete the phrase and it will sound great. Repeat that 12 bar blues five or six times and you will have a great song. So stick around for some tips and um, a special announcement. Everyone, thank you so very much for sticking around and practicing with me and doing some spicy blues. So again, the key here is simple. Not, you know, I, I, I do not advocate, you know, shortcuts. This is a simplification. When you get the simplification, when it becomes uh, you know, down pat and you have it solid, then you could add more and more to it. You could do a slightly better or a slightly more complicated strum pattern. Don't think of it as, 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 a, as a strumming pattern. It's a rhythm pattern. Think of it as a rhythm pattern. I just want to keep a good, consistent rhythm. Keep putting sound out there. It's, it's, much, more a, a orally, it's much more orally appealing than being stilted and trying and, and getting, it, it keeps the frustration from getting uh, paramount. Um, the other thing is that if you just want to use just the, just the E7 chord, you can do you can do a simple. Anything you want. This is this is your guitar. This is your blues. This is your thing. This is your way of expressing. It's to have fun, show progress, and that way you can turn this into a lifelong endeavor instead of something that just goes by the wayside. So this is now June of 2024, and so I've been doing this channel now for two years. I want to thank every single person who watches and has uh, commented and contacted me through email or through through DM, whatever. I appreciate all the comments, um, even the ones that say I can't play, yeah, yeah, yeah like you're telling me something I don't know. Um, I appreciate all the comments, I appreciate all of the feedback, I appreciate the support. I'm going to take a little bit of a break here, there's been a lot of things going on in the last four years, uh, and I just, I'm going to take a break for a number of weeks, I'm not going to put out any videos, this is the last video for a little while, but 
Remember, this is the beauty of YouTube is that uh, if you need to go watch a video or learn something, it's already there and it's available for you. You know what? So just because I'm not doing a live show or I'm not doing you know, new content, at least, for, at least for a little while, but the old stuff is still there. Go watch it, learn from it, practice it, let me know. Uh, if you have questions, I still, I, I still read the emails, I, I'll still read comments, I'll still answer things. Um, I'm going to be working on the PZ Guitar Library ebook, amongst other things. So, but right now, I'm not going to put out any, any new videos here, but I, I want to thank everyone for the past two years, you know, as I am approaching 1,000 subscribers, which is, I never thought that I would get a 10. So, but I, I appreciate this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what things are, are resonant and what things don't. Uh, so instead, I'm just doing things that I like, and hopefully you like them too. And I will see you soon. But keep practicing. Practice the blues. Have fun. Beginners, you know, nothing would make me happier than if you stopped watching my channel because you got better. And I, I'm not giving you any content that you need. But until then, keep watching. Give some comments. I appreciate all, all the support that I get. And I'll see you soon. Keep practicing. I, I, think I, keep saying, I think I keep saying keep practicing, but keep practicing. I will.